But welcome back to Bed Funk TV. My name's Pat Beddo and I own the label Bed Funk. And I'd like to introduce you to our newest talent on the label, which is Anna Marie Johnson. Hello. Welcome, Anna Marie. We're Thank so you. pleased to have you on the label. And we want to interview you so the guys who love missing you um, can get to know a bit more about you and what you're all about. So let's ask some questions and see if we can get a little bit inside your head. Okay, go for it. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and how you started singing. Oh, wow, okay, so I am from a town called Northampton. Um, and, oh wow, I, I think I started singing when I was a little child. I just like loved music. My mum used to play music and when I was young she used to play a lot of house music, funny enough, house music. Um, and soul music and I just loved it, loved singing, loved performing and then decided that's what I wanted to do. And so I entered some talent competitions when I was little, younger and then I studied music performing arts at college and university. All the while though doing music on the side, meeting producers and other singers and other artists and collaborating. And I did cut my first um, professional record when I was 18. And that was a, a rave track, a happy hardcore track. Um, and then from there, I just met more and more people and um, got into it and, and did more and more. And just had a real love and a real passion for, well, music and theatre and dance but music is my first love and singing has always been like the my instrument, my voice has always been my instrument and um, yeah, just carrying on, love it, just do it more and more. Okay, well that, that answers question two anyway. How did you start writing songs and eventually recording? That's well, funny a... enough, I didn't actually write, I didn't write that song. I didn't write, um, Okay. I didn't write the, the, the track. I just came in and vocaled it. Um, but my first started writing songs actually started with poetry when I was at school um, and I'd write lots and lots of poetry. That was kind of where it started. And then writing songs, um, yeah, I, I started writing with a guy, I, I started working with a producer called Scott Whitman back many years ago, about 20 years ago. And we wrote, uh, we did a, a demo track of about three, four songs and I'm pretty sure I wrote one of the tracks on there and we started writing together and then um, it's just been quite an organic process. I never really said I want to be a writer but it's just kind of um, it's just kind of evolved um, working with different people and that's I was just saying to Pat earlier that's what, how I like to work. I like to work collaboratively. I love the creative process. I'm a creative person and um, I much prefer to do that than to sit in a studio on my own um, or a <laughs> my house just writing songs I get I get the vibes more when I work with other people okay perfect and who are your musical heroes oh heroes is a big word but I would say like heroes probably people Stevie Wonder is a big hero I saw him live he's incredible absolutely love him um, People who inspire me, I don't know if they're my heroes, but people who inspire me, people like Jill Scott and Angie Stone and um, Mary J. Blige, a lot of the 90s R&B and soul music. Um, and Adele, Adele, I love her, I love her latest album, I think her album's incredible. India RE, um, yeah, just um, lots of American artists. <laughs> um, yeah, they're the people really that sort of inspire me. But I'd say like hero would have to be Stevie Wonder. Okay, and what specifically got you into singing, making house music, and have you experimented with any other genres at all? I have experimented. As I said, I've done Happy Hardcore. That was very different to not really something that I ever listened to before. Um, other genres, disco, um, R&B, soul. Soul is like my number one genre. That's where my heart is. I kind of got into, um, I used to sing with a band called Dry's Bone, their soul, and um, there was a little bit of disco in there, but I got into the soulful house, really, when I met Suff Secor, um in Northampton, he's a Northampton producer, and he wanted me to work on some of his tracks, so I did three tracks with him, and then I met, and then I met um, through that, uh, meet sort of 
connection I met a guy called Ziggy Funk who is a mutual friend absolutely amazing producer and he kind of got me involved with the Remy stuff and then I did my first sort of like I suppose hit in a way um, which was Live Life Free with with Remy and then we had a follow-up track called Transform which I co-wrote and it's just kind of gone from there and I love Soulful House I've always loved Soulful House and house music um, and so yeah that's it really okay okay who have you worked with in the past for people who do not know you I know you've come covered some of these but yeah uh, who have worked with in the past um well sorry I kind of said it already I've worked yeah. with um Scott Whitman who is um like uh R&B producer I've worked with um Dries of Bone did was with them for a few years um I've worked with Ziggy Funk I've worked with Subsecore Morris Bird um, and now I'm working with Pat, who is wicked, is amazing. Well, that brings us on to our next question. <laughs> How did you come to collaborate with Pat Beddo and what has it been like working with him? And oh, you can be honest dreadful. here. No, it's been amazing. I love Pat. Pat's awesome. Pat's so, such a good... I like... I decided I really want to work with really positive people because I think it's really important, especially in the creative process, to work with positive people. And Pat is one of the most positive people you will ever meet. And also Ziggy Funk... Um, he is incredibly positive. He's a really good friend of mine now too. And um, so I think it's really important to surround yourself with the people that are positive, surround yourself with the people that you get a vibe with and that you get all good vibes in the studio and outside of the studio. So um, that's kind of um, what's made me want to work with Pat because I know how brilliant he is and how positive he is. But how that connection happened was Ziggy mentioned Pat to me ages ago and then I've been off doing other things and then I met someone else, Neil. Neil Pinnock, I was Neil just with him Pinnock. this weekend. Another name check, Neil Pinnock. And he um, was like, you need to work with Pat. And I was like, I need to work with Pat. Absolutely right. So then we hooked up and then did Missing You and um, it was one day in the studio, wasn't it, Pat? Yeah. One day in the studio, boom, done. And, and then it just went from there and we're going to do some more stuff together. I've just been a little bit busy the last couple of years um, since we wrote the track or since you wrote the track and we recorded it but um, yeah looking forward to doing more collaborations okay and who would you like to work with in the future like a dream collaboration oh golly gosh um, <clears throat> oh wow um, that's a difficult question to answer um, we've just been talking I'd love to work with Hannah Kimo she's amazing and I'd love to work with her, um, she's really inspirational. Um, in terms of other people, um, oh, it's a difficult one. I'd like to work with a male artist, I'd like to do, as you were saying, a duet. Um, so I don't know, somebody... Well, we'll have to talk to Leon on that one, I think. Leon, your mate Leon, let's yeah. talk to him. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a difficult question, I'm going to keep mulling that one over. Okay, that's cool. Um, and what's next for Anna Marie Johnson? So I, um, as I said, like soul music's like my number one passion, and I did write an EP with Ziggy Funk um, a, few, a couple of years ago, and I've, we've got four, maybe five tracks on the album on that EP, and that is hopefully going to come out this year. I've been sitting on it for a little while, but we just want to make sure it's absolutely right and absolutely perfect. Um, so that's going to come out soon, hopefully, and I'm really proud of that. Um, I, I really, really love the stuff that we're doing there. And then more stuff. Yeah, I've got a track, um, another project, two projects in the pipeline with other producers. Um, some people from Italy, and then I've got um, some people from up in the north of the country that um, I'm working on a project with. And then, obviously, more work with Pat. I'm going to be doing more work with Ziggy. Um, in the near future, so it's um, it's busy but exciting. Tell us something about yourself you've never told an interviewer <laughs> yet, maybe a hobby outside of music. Okay, yeah, I've probably never said this. I love yoga, I'm a big yoga fan. Yoga is like the thing that keeps me really grounded, it's the thing that resets me, um, and meditation as well. But yoga, just the practice of just getting on the mat and just chilling and um, just yeah, it just resets you so yoga 
I love yoga. Excellent. Try it. Yeah, I've tried it. Do it. And it keeps you positive. <laughs> sure it does. And what got you through the pandemic, through lockdown? Cake. <laughs> Cake. That's what got me through it. It was hard, as it was for everyone. Sugar. That was the thing. I'm now having to deal with the cake and get rid of the cake and get in the gym and do lots of exercise. But at the time, it was the only thing. And music, obviously. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of positives with lockdown. You know, having that reconnection to family, reconnection to where you live, exploring your immediate surroundings, which we, we hadn't done for a long time. Um, so there was lots of positives, but it was obviously, for obvious reasons, everyone found it hard and cake was the thing that got me through. Okay, um, what's your own favourite song? Oh, of what, someone else's song? No, your song. Oh, golly. Hmm, that's a difficult one. That I've written or that I've Anything, sung anything you've sung, just what's your favourite song? Oh, that's too... Now, I'm a Libra and I cannot just say one thing. I can't just choose one thing. Pick two, then. <laughs> okay, I'll pick two for different reasons. So, I wrote a track... Um, on, it's on the Recipe of Life album with Drives a Bone. It's called But You and it's um, the first song that I kind of wrote that's been um, featured on an album. And I love that song because it was very authentic and it's a song that comes from the heart. So when I sing it, I really connect to it um, and I love that song. So that's my favourite song, one of my favourite songs to sing that I've written. And then I love performing Live Life Free because it's so uplifting and apparently Oh, I think it was Hector Romero, some big DJ played it on a boat in Croatia and apparently everyone was there with their hands in the air and I wish I was there singing it live because I would have loved to have been in that atmosphere with everyone uplifted so I love singing that song live because um, it just makes everybody happy and everyone loves it which makes me happy if you're happy I'm happy and what's your guilty pleasure song this is oh <laughs> okay <laughs> Chocolate. Um, guilty pleasure. Me oh, um, what was I listening to? <laughs> well, a bit, I, I like a bit of, I like to listen to a little bit of um, Justin Bieber <laughs> and Olly Murs. Okay, that's good. Because they're good to sing along to, in the car especially. Okay, what's your writing process? Oh, um, well, it's different every time. I, I generally start with like melodies, come up with a melody, and a melody will just come to me. I'll feel some kind of inspiration. I'll get my phone, I record it in my phone, da -da -da -da, little melody. And then the uh, next sit process is to sit down and listen to those and say, well, which one do I want to then turn into a song? So then I will sit down, listen to the melodies, and then pick a melody and then start writing. I like to work with um, a musician or um, so either my acoustic guitarist who is brilliant, Ed Arm, who's amazing, we've written stuff um, with his acoustic guitar and me. Or also Ziggy has a tr created a track to the melody that I'm creating. So I tend to work that way. I would never really go into a studio with a finished thing because I like the, um, what comes out of the creative process of working with other people and collaborating with artists and musicians and producers. So that's kind of how it works for me. Okay, what are some of your biggest goals you hope to achieve over the next year? Wow, okay, so I think musically I just want to do more because I've had a bit of a hiatus, I haven't done as much in the last couple of years for personal reasons, so I just want to get my EP out, that's like the big one, get that out and be able to feel like I've given birth to it, here it goes, off it goes, finally. It's had had a couple of tracks on that EP, I already have some radio play on My Soul Radio, it was, um, one of the tracks was Ronnie Harrell's track of the week, so I just want to kind of get it out there and I'll feel like I've finally achieved, like a life, that's a living a lifelong ambition actually and I feel like that's got to happen this year and then other goals are just to do more just do more collaborating and working with the people that I want to work with and I'm excited like about the possibilities of new collaborations so that's my goal new collaborations 
Um, if you weren't a singer, what would your dream job be? Uh, oh, dream job. Mm, that's a tricky one because I've always, this has been my dream, dream job. I did a bit of acting when I was younger. So acting, yeah, probably being an, well, it would have been being an actor when I was younger. <laughs> older. I don't really want, I'm not about the acting life. That sort of being on tour and yeah, being away from home, not so much. But I did, I did enjoy it. So maybe acting, maybe. Oh, ah, I know. Having, I'd like my own cafe. I'd like a cafe. I'd like a cafe. I don't really want to do any work in it. I want to employ people to do the work, but I just want to sit there and eat cake. And um, oh, I'm joking. I don't want to do that. I do want to do that. Uh, I like the idea of bringing together food and music because they're like two things I'm really passionate about. So some kind of business that might be like a cafe that has live music or something like that. Mm. Okay, and finally, studio or live? Oh, that's a tough one, but it's got to be live for me. Um, there's a, a guy called Ken Robinson who was no longer with us, but he wrote a book called The Element. Um, if you haven't read it, it's all about where where you are in your element and for me that's being live on stage just that connection with audience the energy you get um i just love performing i just love um that sort of energy in the room when you perform live and i really really thrive on that so i love the studio because the studio is quite um great creative but that being live on stage is just where i get the buzz Cool. And, and tell us a bit about your live stuff then and any bands you were in or have been in. Yeah, so I um, I do like cover band stuff. I have done for many years. Um, so I, I sing in a band called Superfly, which is a funk soul disco band. And we perform a lot in Northampton and around and about and do like weddings and that sort of thing. And that's your kind of like your bread and butter. But I actually really enjoy it as well because I get to work with some really nice people. And then I also work with a guy called Ed, who's an amazing acoustic guitarist and jazz guitarist actually. And we do an acoustic duo, acoustic trio, and we do bands as well. So yeah, we do all that. I used to be in Dry's Bone, but now in terms of my own music, I'm more solo artist now. That's, that's what I want to be doing, but that's not to say I don't want to collaborate with other people or be in some kinds of collectives, because I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. That's what I've been doing. Okay, and when, where can your fans find you? So, yeah, so I'm on Facebook, Anna Marie Johnson on Facebook. I've got a Twitter, I'm not very active on Twitter. Um, it's AM Songstress, and also it's the same with Instagram, so I'm on there. Um, so, yeah, and I do perform live. I've just done a performance, did a live PA um, at Soulful House, spent a couple of weeks ago, so um, I'm around and about. Um, doing gigs so I'll obviously I post stuff on on the socials and all of that so that's how you can find me cool we'll put we'll put all your so all your links to your socials in the bottom as well I just wanted to hear you say it <laughs> thank you very much Anna Marie You're for your welcome. time it's been really good getting to know you even better and and it really warmed my heart to hear that you wanted to work again because the people are really loving missing you and and we need to do I hate to use the term follow-up because, you know, we work from the heart and it's what we're feeling. But, you know, just to be able to collaborate together again would be absolutely awesome. Oh, so fa that. thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Cheers.